Tomo News presents Animals of the First World. Golden Retriever Puppy Gets Braces, Becomes Internet Heartthrob. Little Wesley has been cute since he was a newborn pup, but as he grew older, his owner Molly Moore noticed he wasn't playing with his toys as much and was losing weight when he should have been growing. Luckily for Wesley, Molly's dad, Dr. Jim Moore, is a veterinarian specializing in doggy dentistry. Dr. Moore's diagnosis, a condition called malocclusion, a misalignment of the upper and lower teeth. The solution, braces, just like any human kid with an overbite. But judging by the nearly 300,000 shares his pictures are racking up on Facebook, seems the internet thinks the braces look is way cuter on Wesley than your typical pimply-faced American tween. Don't count on the canine metal mouth becoming a fashion trend, though. Dr. Moore says the braces are only applied for practical reasons and not aesthetics. Wesley will only have to rock those train tracks for a few more weeks to correct the issue. And after that, he'll probably be starring in some doggy toothpaste commercial. What a world we live in, huh? Ever heard of a service cat? No? Then you get sprayed! A man in Seattle's First Hill neighborhood has taken trolling the local McDonald's to a new level. He showed up around noon on Thursday with his service cat in tow. You heard me. The man, we'll call him Troublemaker, has been banned from that particular franchise. After approaching the counter, he's confronted by an irate Mickey D's employee. But Troublemaker had one more trick up his sleeve, an industrial-sized can of pepper spray. At this point, he decided to use his service cat like an attack dog and a fight broke out. Troublemaker sprayed pepper juice wildly, and there was enough for everybody. Even a standerby who just wanted some nuggets. Hope he likes some spicy. In the end, police came and treated two people for eye irritation. But in an apparent case of, I can't deal with this today, they didn't arrest anybody and Troublemaker was free to go home with his service cat. Chinese scientists create GMO super dogs. A group of Chinese scientists say they are the first researchers to have used a breakthrough gene editing technology to successfully double the muscle mass of dogs. For this new research, the scientists used 65 beagle dog embryos, focusing in on genes encoded for myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. By injecting the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9 into the embryos, the objective was to knock out the myostatin genes in the dog's DNA. With myostatin out of the way, the beagle's muscles can grow to new extremes. The scientists report two of the pups born showed disruptions in their myostatin genes, a boy they named Hercules and a girl they named Tian Go. Creating more muscular and athletic dogs, this achievement could pump out some freakishly powerful canines for police and the military. This isn't the first time Chinese researchers have applied science to genetically modify animals. They've previously used gene editing techniques on goats, rabbits, rats, monkeys, and even fertilized human embryos. While the scientists say this particular study was undertaken to learn more about gene modification for human medicine, we can only imagine what other Frankensteins they might cook up in their lab. Bruce Banner, eat your heart out. Monk the Husky throws major temper tantrum at bath time. This is Monk, a smelly Siberian husky who is extremely vocal about his distaste for bath time. This adorable video has gone viral, racking up thousands of views. As his owner tells Monk to get into the shower, the dog groans in despair. Monk rolls around on the floor and talks back, acting exactly like a spoiled little pup. If you listen closely, it sounds like he's saying, no, I don't want to. Six-year-old Monk, the talking husky, is well known in his southwestern Michigan community. Monk has a pretty significant online following and works as a service dog with military veterans. Aw, so cute. Photo of woman's emotional support duck goes viral online. Bet you never thought a duck could fly this high on October 16th, a man flying from Milwaukee to Asheville, North Carolina, happened to notice a peculiar looking passenger waddling onto the plane and tweeted out a picture that's thrown the internet into a frenzy. 
affectionately named Daniel Turducken Stinkerbutt by his owner, the duck gets to go pretty much anywhere she goes, as he's legally certified as an emotional support animal. Daniel's owner, Carla Fitzgerald, used to drive a horse-drawn carriage when a car slammed into her from behind and sent her flying. Four years later, she still suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. The duck supposedly senses when she's stressed and nuzzles her to reduce her anxiety. Daniel not only flies with Fitzgerald, he also goes to movies and church, always on a leash and wearing a diaper. The only requirements to have a pet certified as an emotional support animal are that the owner is considered emotionally disabled by a licensed mental health professional, and that the animal is manageable in public. In the United States, animals are allowed to accompany their owners in the airplane cabin at no extra cost, as long as they are needed for support reasons. Typical domestic animals like cats, dogs, mice, rabbits, birds, rats, small pigs, and ferrets can be certified to fly. But cases of more unusual creatures have also been reported as emotional support animals, such as turkeys, turtles, snakes, llamas, and hedgehogs. Animals of the world rejoice! As long as there are humans in need of emotional therapy, the skies are your oyster. Former Playboy Playmate takes her obese dog on first class flight. Hank the dog is treated like a king by his owner, Carrie Whitman, an interior designer and Playboy Playmate of the Month from February 1988. According to Hank's Instagram account, Carrie, who founded the Beverly Hills Dog Rescue Program called Ace of Hearts, rescued the obese dog from an animal shelter in Los Angeles. Carrie and Hank were spotted at the Los Angeles International Airport, with Carrie pulling Hank in his cart. Hank is obese and has an illness that means he can only move with the aid of the cart, but he still gets the royal treatment and lots of attention from strangers. When traveling with Carrie, he travels first class all the way, including his own seat on board the plane. Nicknamed Hank the Tank for his large size, he is Carrie's support dog and can detect seizures. The picture of him boarding the American Airlines flight at LAX has gone viral, so keep an eye out for this big old dog on your next trip. Madeline Doe, who snapped the picture of Hank and Carrie, followed up by tweeting, I'm just glad my legacy on this site will be a photo I took of an obese dog boarding a plane. Monkey hijacks passenger bus and goes on hilarious joyride. Boy oh boy do we wish this was actually a photo of the badass monkey that stole and crashed a passenger bus in northern India on Monday. But sadly, it's just a representative photo. The story's still epic though, and here's a quick rundown of what happened. A driver, dozing off in the back of his bus in the city of Bareilly, failed to notice a monkey sneaking in. The city's reportedly been having a bit of a monkey problem, but this little primate definitely took things to another level. The monkey somehow managed to start the bus's engine, and by the time the driver noticed something was up, it was already too late. He tried to chase away the creature, but scared it, causing the panicked monkey to accidentally shift the vehicle into second gear. And the poor driver could only helplessly watch as his vehicle crashed into two other parked buses. Luckily though, no bystanders were injured, but local police have yet to issue a warrant for the arrest of the joyriding monkey. Boston area pooch drives car into a lake. Okay, even I didn't believe this one, and I do stories like this all the time. But it's true, this dog named Rosie drove this car, a Dodge Neon, into this Massachusetts lake. And according to this guy, John Costello, Rosie's owner, it's a story you gotta see to believe. It's a good thing we got an animation department to handle the heavy lifting. So John and Rosie were spending the day at Boulevard Lake Park getting some exercise. Apparently Rosie is a frisky pup, the six month old German Shepherd can't wait to get going somewhere and once there can't wait to get going somewhere else. So John wasn't surprised when she hurriedly hopped into the car but he was very surprised when she lost her footing hitting the gear shift, then falling on the gas pedal at the same time, turning the Dodge into a very poorly designed floaty toy in the lake. John and two other bystanders jumped into the lake and fished poor Rosie out. And although the car is a total loss, John is at least happy Rosie's big adventure didn't leave a scratch on her or anyone else. A dieting dachshund loses 44 pounds after cutting burgers from his diet. 
Dennis the Dachshund was fed White Castle hamburgers and pizzas until he reached roughly the weight of four or five dachshunds. In fact, his owner didn't care too much about what Dennis ended up putting in his mouth. A relative of his original owner eventually adopted Dennis, whose tiny legs were barely able to hold up his 56-pound body when she met him. Yvette said that Dennis was so obese, he would not have survived another month under this old gluttonous lifestyle. His new owner, a 27-year-old nursing student, placed Dennis under a strict exercise regime. And he started a new diet of dry dog food only. Now after losing an impressive 44 pounds, the dachshund is at a healthy weight of 12 pounds. And Dennis now lives a much livelier lifestyle of squirrel chasing and other normal dog activities. Featherless Bird Gains Fame with Sweater Game Becomes Fashionista A new style icon has emerged and her name is Javi. Sweaters are her game, sock sweaters to be exact. But all was not always well for this parrot who arrived at the tall grass parrot sanctuary in Kansas last September. As a result of extreme anxiety, Javi suffers from overpreening, a condition in which birds pluck out all their feathers. When she arrived at the sanctuary, the poor bird was said to have smelled like stale cigarette butts and rotted garbage. The sanctuary rehabilitates more than 30 parrots of all sizes, among other animals suffering from all kinds of conditions. Javi, formerly known as Hobby, was renamed by the sanctuary because the staff feels that no living being should be somebody's hobby. You are a pretty bird. Javi was then given a new look by Sock Buddy, a Canadian company that turns ordinary socks into stylish parrot wear. And these bad boys aren't just about fashion. Sock Buddy sweaters help regulate body temperatures for overpreened parrots, helping to prevent poor feather growth and weight loss. From tie-dye to classic white sweaters, Sock Buddy has been Javi's go-to designer. And turns out she's not the only one. Apparently, sweaters are now hot in the bird world. How chic. Cat learns to relieve itself just like a human. Good boy, Rudolphs. He's a clever boy. He's a clever boy. Yes, yes, yes. Good boy. Yes. Driver risks it all in order to film selfie with his beloved dog. This bloodhound learned that a good way to cool off in Henderson, Kentucky is to stand at the front of a Jeep and catch a mouthful of fresh air. But the cute dog aside, the driver's trying so hard to show the world his dog that he takes both hands off the steering wheel several times to move the stick. Here, he takes both hands off for at least five seconds in order to adjust the camera. I'm not too familiar with how things are done in Kentucky, but that's certainly not road kosher. All right, dude, we get it. Your dog is cute with half its face blowing off. Whew. Let's all breathe a collective sigh of relief now that he's done with the selfie stick. But I guess you have to admit, these are some pretty awesome captures. This Utah company will happily mummify your pet or you. Salt Lake City, Utah isn't exactly where you'd expect to find mummies, but some mum, a company based in the city, offers clients the chance to mummify their deceased pets or even themselves. And while the process of mummifying one's pet is quite costly at at least four grand per animal, a pet owner's love knows no bounds. The 90-day process begins by making neat incisions on the body from where internal organs are removed, washed, and then put back. The entire animal's body is then immersed in a powerful, highly permeable chemical. The exact composition is a secret. After a good soak, the animal is taken out and oils are applied to the pet's body before cotton gauze is wrapped around it. The mummified body is then encased in layers of fiberglass and resin before it's sealed in a sarcophagus and given back to its owner. 
Corky Raw, some mum's founder, started researching mummification in the late 1970s by practicing on cadavers donated by a local medical school, meaning his company has at least 30 years of mummy-making experience. But if that's not enough to sway you, then perhaps this will. Corky Raw himself was mummified in 2008, and his mummy is now displayed at some mum next to the mummy of his beloved cat, Oscar. Aww. Woof woof pass. Nevada bill would make weed illegal for pets. Pets across the U.S. are busy making their way to Nevada. After a bill was introduced Tuesday that would allow owners to buy weed for their pet if a vet says it's okay. Some vets who have given Mary Jane to sick and dying pets say it has relieved their symptoms, although the herb hasn't yet been proven as a painkiller in animals. The proposal is in its earliest stages and faces many hurdles before it could become law. Of course, there are safety concerns as well as worries over possible side effects. But hey, doesn't man's best friend deserve man's best bud? Before he goes to doggy heaven? Watch annual Thai tradition, the Monkey Buffet Festival. The Monkey Buffet Festival is held annually in Lopburi, Thailand, and involves giving fruits and vegetables to the 2,000-strong local monkey population. It's been described as one of the strangest festivals by various other news agencies. Locals will dress up as monkeys and parade around as part of the celebration. They believe that monkeys bring good fortune to the visitors and participants of the festival. The festival is also a large secondary tourist draw to Thailand and brings thousands of tourists to the area every year. Suffering from airport anxiety? Lilu the airport therapy pig is here to help. The world's cutest team of airport employees has a new member, Lilu the therapy pig. Lilu works for the WAG Brigade, San Francisco International Airport's animal assisted therapy program. Having a tough time with airport security? Don't you worry. Lilu will assist you. Lilu is a Juliana breed pig and is the first known airport therapy pig in the U.S. She has been certified by the San Francisco SPCA's Animal Assisted Therapy Program. Animals are carefully chosen for the program. They wear vests that read Pet Me to encourage interaction with airport guests. Christopher Birch, the airport's director of guest experience, says that since its launch in 2013, the SFO WAG Brigade has become a favorite amenity among travelers. Lilu is no ordinary pig. On top of being adorable, she can also perform simple tricks to entertain the crowds. And she can even play the piano. In addition to Lilu, the WAG Brigade employs some 300 other animals, including dogs, cats, and rabbits. If you're interested in learning more about Lilu or just want to see more cute photos, you can check out and follow her Instagram account.